So we just arrived here in the Padre Island National Seashore. Beautiful time of day, 7 o'clock. Got to haul ass to get some baits out here. First we got to break down the van and get set up. Alright, so I'm about to set the leaders on the new uh, shark poles me and my brother got. But man, look at the view we've got right here, right now. It's absolutely beautiful. Fishing ain't always just about the fishing, people. Alright, I gotta show this trick that I just saw on how to insert these PVC pole holders into the sand really easy and you don't even need a shovel. First you just jam it to the sand and then you keep pressure on it and you suck in from the top of the pole and it goes right in, watch. Alright, this one takes way better video at night. Oh, look, these are all pompano. Let's see. Better start taking video in this landscape mode. Yeah, look at this. Hundreds. Just getting beached. This is why you fish for them at night. A cast net. There we go. As soon as the water comes down. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hundreds. <laughs> what? The crab is pissed? <laughs> this, the phone takes way better video at night. This is nice. I'm trying to, oh yeah, there we go. They're just everywhere. That's why you get bait at night. I don't know exactly the size of pompano that you need to have to eat, but I definitely know that this guy is some shark bait. Oh. All right, looky what I caught here. Oh, she's pretty and she's pissed. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put my shoe next to her because I don't want to put my foot next to her. She's a nice, pretty, pretty girl. Oh, you're so angry. I'll let you go, I'll let you go, I'll let you go. I'm sorry. Thank you for letting me catch you, that was fun. Alright, got a sizable gaff top. Cook this baby up. Woo! Watch that spine. Beautiful one. Just from a little slack in the line too, didn't even notice it hitting anything. Although you'll probably cook it up. <laughs> Watch that top barb, man. That stuff is no kidding. <laughs> Running it through thousands of baby pompano. <laughs> All right, next. So that makes what, like six species of fish we've caught on this trip here? First catch on this pole though. Like, yeah, three, yeah, it really is. There we go. Three or four spe or uh, three or four large species. All right, so next. Till the next fish. Yeah. Right, it actually does get good video right now. We got Royce building the fire pit. <laughs> Tide's coming in, gonna take the sand off the sides. We'll have a fireplace. Hey, 
This actually does get good video. Yeah, whenever you have the light from a different source. Which is nice. I'm just gonna have to bring more lights again, I say. Until next time. That's what we will do. The amount of step ups on the fire here is intense. <laughs> I was gonna say. It's gonna be nice. Roy starting the fire. <laughs> That's how you fucking do it. Get that torch away. <laughs> That is how you start a fire right there. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, once we get some coals going, that's going to be a chill place to hang out. Yeah. Alright, so we just only had one line in the water. We were actually just sitting around drinking. And we, I saw this one hit and gave this one to Royce. We're going to see. How this one goes here. It sounds it feels like a, a fighter. It's pretty far out there. Still on? Dude, he's oh yes. He's still yes. Oh man! I'm so excited! <laughs> yes! One line in the water, baby, that whiting. That was whiting, right? Yeah, yeah. Whiting. Yeah. Woo! Spider weight with whiting on it. Oh, man, this is exciting. The seas are choppy as hell right now. Super choppy. So windy. That's the time to get big fish. Alright, so Royce thought he was snagged, but I took hold of it for a second. I think we got a humongous ray. It's fighting this whole way. Look, he just kind of gave us a look here. I'm pretty sure it's a huge ray. This is gonna be fun. Stay tuned. All right, so we were right. It's a huge ray, right, Royce? He's smart. He's sitting. He's what? He's smart. He's sitting down. Here, back. I saw like a shadow of him in the wave. All right, buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> we got you. I know, but we got you hooked up on a big one. First day. Alright, bring it, keep it low, like back up. Yeah, you, okay, actually use the wave whenever the waves come in. Try to use that. Just keep a lot of pressure on him. All right, he's getting close to landing this. He's backing up. Keep backing up, Royce. There we go, we're getting shallower. Oh, he's flapping. Keep it, keep backing up towards shore. Don't, don't go so much right, just try to get back. Not yet, not yet. Good, yeah, back up now. While there's no out now, a rip tide or whatever. Oh, he's huge! Oh my goodness! Wow, dude, this is huge! Oh my gosh! Come here, baby! <laughs> Get your ass on shore! I'm, I'm watching him. 
Yes! <laughs> Boom! That is a beast! That's the biggest one I've ever seen! Oh my gosh! That is the most beautiful. Look at the shovel. Okay, we need gloves too here. Uh, I need to put these right, things down. I'll hold them. So we ended up landing that uh, humongous stingray. Unfortunately, we didn't get a good video of it on shore as we were both too excited and kind of forgot about the camera. But uh, we, we got it and it ended up weighing 53 pounds. Uh, we got 33 pounds of meat off of it. A lot we're gonna end up uh, giving to some of our friends out here to cook how they want to, but we're gonna definitely cook it up in several different ways. Um, so if there was anything you didn't like or did like about the video, or you wanna see how we cook up the stingray in different ways, or the type of tackle we're using, or just anything at all, uh, please feel free to leave a comment and uh, we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible or uh, change something in our next video and make it more entertaining. Uh, we'll definitely be going back soon uh, to try and make another b video uh, with, with a better mic for sound and uh, more light for the night fishing we do. Um, but yeah, I am aware that I have a stupid sounding laugh behind the camera, but uh, I can't help it when I'm having so much fun fishing. And uh, yeah, so thank you. Uh, leave comments and uh, likes and subscribes are always appreciated. As it'll, it'll help us uh, keep doing what we love to do. So until next time, thank you.